In this video, we're going to discuss a list of strange theories and beliefs along with the facts according to modern science. The goal isn't to criticize, but to explore. Hi, I'm Alina. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. The idea is that by using specific objects like a candle, a dagger, and other items, you can control the universe, sometimes even ignoring the laws of physics. Some people say they can do things like summon demons, angels, or have out-of-body experiences. However, no one has been able to prove those claims. There are some strange events that seem to defy logic, like people's experiences with Ouija boards. But since this can't be reliably proven, the evidence is not strong. This is one of the most unusual theories ever suggested. It was made famous by David Icke, but others have also supported it. The theory claims that the British royal family, President Bush's family, and many other powerful people are actually aliens. These aliens supposedly want to secretly take over Earth and need to feed on humans to keep looking human. Supporters of this theory often show photos of people like Mr. Bush with eyes that look like reptiles, saying this is evidence. They also point to videos and other supposed reptile features of these aliens on Earth. However, all the videos that have been presented as proof have been proven fake, or they are so obviously fake that no one has even bothered to investigate them further. The idea is that the early Middle Ages, about 300 years, never actually happened. And we are mistakenly counting the Earth as being nearly 200 years older than it actually is. There isn't a strong way to prove or disprove this theory, because it argues that carbon dating from that period is unreliable. The theory also suggests that the written records from that time are forgeries, created by people from that era. However, the theory doesn't provide a clear reason why these forgeries would have been made, and it lacks solid evidence to support these claims. The main issue with this theory is that it challenges the scientific methods we use to date historical events, but without solid proof to back it up. On the other hand, the evidence supporting the existence of the Middle Ages, such as consistent carbon dating results and historical records, is much stronger. Therefore, this theory can be dismissed unless new evidence comes to light. Some people believe that they were far more advanced in technologies than what was possible during their time. A popular version of this theory claims that they landed on the moon as early as 1942 and built a base on the dark side of the moon. It also suggests that they had contact with at least six different alien civilizations, and some of them are still living on the moon today. There are many problems with this theory. For instance, most skeptics argue that we had never had any contact with aliens. Additionally, the dark side of the moon is extremely cold, making it nearly impossible to survive there without incredible technology. They would have needed a way to renew their resources, such as growing plants for food and air. They would also have required a powerful energy source, one that we haven't yet discovered on Earth. Some people believe that the Earth is hollow instead of being filled with magma. According to this idea, the Earth has several layers, sometimes described as four, or even an entire world with land similar to ours. The Earth crust, according to this theory, is about 800 miles thick and beneath it, there might be another sun lighting up the inside. While this theory isn't as wild as some others, it's still very unlikely. We don't know everything about what's beneath the Earth's crust, but this theory has major flaws. For example, if the Earth was hollow, where would the magma that erupts from volcanoes come from? Also, if there were an inner sun, it could create many problems, like pulling everything inside the Earth towards it with gravity or causing damage with solar flares. Some supporters of this theory point out that it's currently impossible to fully explore the bottom of the Arctic, which they think might hide the entrance to the inner Earth. There's also a castle in Europe with defenses supposedly designed to protect against attacks from inside 
inside the earth so that's the other idea that the entrance to the inner world is under a chapel in this castle but since the castle owners won't allow it to be destroyed or even investigate some people see this as proof of the theory Some people believe that Mars is already being transformed to support life, a process called terraforming, by organizations like NASA and the European Space Energy. This idea is relatively new and is based on mostly speculations and a few photos. The idea doesn't consider the huge expense involved. NASA already struggles with funding. Sending equipment to Mars that could change its environment costs billions, possibly even trillions of dollars. Plus, the advanced computer technology needed to control the process perfectly would be incredibly expensive as well. It takes a long time for anything to reach Mars from Earth. A project as large as terraforming would take years to even arrive, and there's no guarantee it would work once it got there. The best option we have for terraforming Mars right now is to use ancient microbes that thrive on carbon dioxide and other gases. These microbes could slowly change Mars' atmosphere, just like scientists believe they did on Earth long ago. However, this would take millions of years, and at the moment, there's no practical way or strong reason to start terraforming Mars. The idea is that by thinking positively and encouraging yourself and others to feel better, you can actually improve your health, sometimes even replacing the need for medicine. Many people believe in this idea and while it might help with minor illnesses like the common cold, since rest and relaxation are keys to recovery, it can be dangerous when dealing with more serious diseases. People who fully believe in this approach might avoid going to a doctor, which could lead to serious harm or even death. This method is no more effective than prayer, and when it does seem to work, it can be often explained as just a coincidence. However, some people do believe in it and for them the placebo effect might kick in. This means that because they think they are getting better, their bodies might actually start to improve and sometimes they even recover. We each have seven chakras which are energy centers in our bodies, running from the top of our head down to our feet. Each chakra is believed to help with different things when awakened. For example, activating a chakra might improve your hearing, give you certain insights or offer other benefits. There's no scientific proof that chakras actually exist, but many people believe in them sometimes even more strongly than in the idea of a soul. Chakras are often linked to paranormal experiences, but they don't normally have stories of their own. Some people reported having slightly enhanced abilities or knowing something before it happens, which is often explained as a sixth sense. This sixth sense is thought to be the brain's way of tapping into the subconscious mind allowing us to gather and process information without being fully aware of it. This could explain why people feel like they've been to places they have never visited or have other similar experiences which might explain many if not all chakra related claims. The idea here is that life as we know it doesn't really exist. Instead, we might all be part of a huge virtual reality like a computer program, or we could even be the ones controlling that reality. There isn't a clear way to prove or disprove this theory. If it's true, we might look very different in reality, or we might not exist at all outside of this virtual world. This theory is hard to support because it falls into a category where we can't say for sure whether it's true or false. It's almost up to each person's judgment. As strange as it sounds, this theory could explain many of the problems and mysteries we face in our world, like issues with carbon dating. If we are just test subjects in a giant virtual reality, then things that don't make sense in our world could be seen as glitches or bugs in a program. Yet there is no solid evidence to support this idea. It's likely that this theory comes from people's fears about the advance in technology we're facing and what it might do to us. Different religions have different beliefs, but most of them agree that a powerful being or beings created the earth. In Western societies, it's still common to believe in a god. 
The problem is we can't prove or disprove any religion. Some people think that God is testing us by creating misleading evidence, like dinosaur bones that seem millions of years old. On the other hand, skeptics point out that accepting one religion means rejecting many others. They also argue that the effects of prayer could be just coincidences. And they highlight errors in religious texts like the Bible and issues with the concept of heaven. Despite this, many people continue to follow their religions. Skeptics believe religion may have started for two reasons. People were afraid and wanted to believe in an afterlife, or they were trying to explain the world and created gods as answers. However, following the principles of any religion isn't necessarily bad. Most religions have a common idea expressed in different ways. Treat others as you want to be treated. This is a good principle to live by. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!